Hi everyone and welcome to JSA TV where we're coming to you today from the floor of Tech Capital's International Finance Forum. I'm Barb Mitchell from JSA and I'm pleased to be joined today by Snehar Shah who's the CEO of IX Africa Data Centers. Welcome. Thank you so much Barbara, it's an honor. I'm just actually on my way back from uh, ITW where it was all the data center connectivity world mm -hmm. and you know this conference brings all the financiers together. Um, and also they have the, the awards tonight, so uh, IX Africa has been shortlisted uh, for the Digital Infrastructure Project of the Year, so fingers crossed. That's very exciting. I also was at ITW last week. It's uh, busy back to back, but really, really is so interesting to hear all of the topics that are being covered across our industry and impacting all of the, the organizations that, that we're able to speak with. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I know that um, we've chatted with your organization on JSA TV several times in the past, but for any of our viewers who may not be familiar, would you mind giving us an overview? Sure, sure. Um, so IX Africa, we are there to interconnect um, you know, Africa uh, to the rest of the world. Um, and uh, we are uh, a new player uh, in the industry. Uh, we are the biggest uh, in our region. Um, so uh, in Kenya, we are building a 22 and a half megawatt uh, facility, uh, targeting largely the hyperscalers, uh, of which the first uh, four and a half megawatts is currently live. Um, and uh, we are building our pipeline, so we have uh, a lot of the connectivity players now in. Uh, we are hosting two of the, the key internet exchanges. So we host, uh, of course, the local internet exchange, uh, KXP. Uh, but also Lynx, uh, London Internet Exchange, which is uh, one of the largest uh, internet exchanges in the world. Um, and we are close to signing uh, some of the, the hyperscalers. Um, so, so yeah, we, we, we're proud to basically, uh, you know, starting the journey um, uh, in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, and the future looks uh, very bright because, you know, if you look at the gap, uh, I mean, if you look at Africa as a whole, uh, we make up close to 20% of the global population, uh, but we are less than 1% of the, of the world's uh, data center capacity. Um, and uh, you know, our continent, our, our country, uh, is, is getting uh, digitalized very soon. Uh, let me give you some some facts about uh, Kenya, uh, if I may. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was going to say I would yeah. I would love to hear a little bit more about the specific uh, growth that's happening in Africa. I know that it's something we've been hearing about for years, and you say you're at the start of a journey there. Far from a start, you're already up for awards. You already have these great partnerships in place, um, and, and you're really ready to service this this growth that's happening. So, tell us about that and how you've really readied yourself for for the growth of the market. Sure, sure. I mean, so first of all, you know, when we say um, Africa is already advancing, uh, so you know, Africa is made up of 54 countries, um, and the biggest advancement so far in in um, in the digital infrastructure space is in South Africa, which is much more advanced. Uh, you know, they have like 400 megawatts of uh, capacity. They have all the hyperscalers having their, their regional zones there. Uh, if you look at a market like Kenya with uh, 60 million population, uh, currently as a whole, including us, um, you know, our uh, deployed capacity is like less than 10 megawatts. So, so the gap is, is huge. Uh, but you know, as a country, um, you know, Kenya was the birthplace for uh, mobile money, so uh, you know, there's a lot of innovation happening there. We're known as the Silicon Savannah. Um, and then you know, in terms of connecting to the rest of the world, like submarine cables, uh, so initially you know, we've had them for the last 15 years um, uh, deployed by the telcos, uh, but now we have the big techs uh, coming in. So you know, Meta is bringing the, the two Africa cable, uh, uh, Google with the, with the Africa One. So that capacity is going to you know, explode. So, so the ecosystem is, uh, is really ripe um, for us to deploy our, our data center infrastructure. Um, and then you know, being on, on some of the panels here uh, with some of the big players, you know, the, 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 the big uh, theme is, is all about, uh, you know, in, in real estate it was all about location, location, location. In, in the uh, data center space it's all about power, power, power. Um, and you know, w one, one area where Kenya is, is so um, uh, opportunistic uh, is that, um, and not many people know this, but 93% uh, um, of our energy is coming from uh, renewable sources. And, and Kenya is the sixth largest producer of uh, geothermal energy uh, after Scandinavia and Iceland. So, so you know, these are the factors that um, you know, we can offer as a country, 
um, you know, as, as a company with uh, very supportive uh, investors uh, to then, you know, sell that opportunity to, to our clients, which are the hyperscalers, uh, who are, you know, constrained uh, to build their AI infrastructure in the Western world where, you know, there, there is, uh, the, the demand is outstripping supply. Uh, but now, you know, the global dynamics can change um, and, and uh, you know, they can bring their infrastructure to a, 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 you know, a, a underdeveloped um, uh, and unexploited um, a market like, like Kenya. I think it's, it's so interesting to hear you talking about this and thinking about, you know, I absolutely agree, globally people are talking about power and, you know, where there is availability to be able to support some of the growth. Africa, Kenya specifically, and, and other parts of Africa are really set up to do that. But you also have an opportunity, I think, at this stage to really think about how to do this sustainably, right? Because that, that's another piece. And you already talked about uh, renewable energy sources, but are there other things that you are, are considering when you're, you're building out in a sustainable fashion? Yeah, 100%. So, um, and, and we believe in, um, in, in you know, doing things very responsibly with, uh, with sustainability. So the power is one factor. Uh, in terms of uh, you know, building our data center, uh, you know, our, our motto as Ajax Africa is to keep it local. So, uh, you know, we've, we've used um, uh, local talent, uh, local expertise, um, and, and uh, you know, local materials uh, as much as possible uh, to, to have our data center build. Um, and uh, the, the great thing about that is that uh, we've been able to do it 30% cheaper um, than, uh, th than sort of the, the global average. Uh, so again, that, that's a unique, uh, you know, advantage that we can then pass on uh, to, our, to our customers as well. Um, and, and then it's also about um, uh, you know lo looking at bigger impact. Um, so you know uh, job creation is a, is a is a big thing. And if you look at uh, you know sort of the the, the future of work uh, over the next uh, couple of decades, uh, and and how the demographics are are working, you know in Kenya our uh, average uh, population, uh, the average age is is 19 years. You know if you compare that to a mark like Italy or or Europe, it's like more like 50 years. Um, and we're, 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 we're having uh, access to smart, um, you know, young talent uh, who can then, um, uh, you know, use all this infrastructure, you know, when it comes to AI, when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, uh, tech talent, uh, doing software engineering, data science, etc. That's an interesting point, too, because that's something that, you know, when we think about the sort of the pillars driving the industry, one of the key areas has, has been, you know, access to the right talent to be able to, to support this. Another piece that's available readily in Africa. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, we as Ajax Africa, we're a responsible uh, company. So we're, we're not only looking at, uh, you know, the impact that um, uh, we're making to our, our financials, our clients, but also, you know, what ecosystem that uh, that we're building uh, beyond uh, Ajax Africa, and we play play a big part there in terms of, uh, you know, nurturing that talent, giving them opportunities, uh, and then we also have like uh, offers for the startup ecosystem, where uh, if someone wants to get started in our in our data center, we give and and, and they're a startup, um, then we give them, you know, uh, subsidized commercials. This has been—it's always such a pleasure to hear what's happening with IX Africa. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's a very busy day here and a, a full agenda, but really appreciate your time. Thank you for sharing a little bit about IX Africa, but also with what's happening in the marketplace in Africa overall. So, so thank you. No, thank, thanks, Barbara, for the opportunity, and look forward to the next one. <laughs> Likewise, definitely. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Until next time.